Right, here we go. I've been asked to make a video of the damage that we've done to the buggy when we rolled it. So I'll start on this side. It's been stripped already. I think our issue that caused it to slide was this sprocket. I think that broke its weld which caused the buggy to go into one wheel drive and then doing that it just put us into a slide. So that needs to be repaired. It's quite a, it's a bugbear that's been doing my head in ever since I built the thing. Now, what I've done here was This side isn't as bad, but this is where the damage has been. If you can see, it's not, it's kind of S shaped now. But I don't know whether to reuse this side, whether to reuse this or not. Because all it really needs is re welded in a different position. And I could bring it back around square again and then build a frame at the back of that. Build a frame down this side here to strengthen this. Because this is a weak point. This has already been done. But it doesn't last. Now, we've been quite lucky when I put the buggy on its axle stands, the frame is still square. I'd recommend anybody that's building one of these to invest in doing this, make a roll cage, because that's the only reason that, we're, that me and my friend Scott are still here. You can see where it's dug in and the roof has come down, the aluminium plate was pushed in. But because I've added the strength, that's what's held it in place. Right. As you can see, I've repaired this side. It runs back square again. That wheel, the wheel was originally sitting in here. So what I've done is, I've done the same as I did on the other side. I cut it out. And at the moment I've provisionally tacked this in place and I don't know whether I want to just do away with it and put in a new bit of steel or whether I just brace that up and make it strong and then add the frame at the back again, box section to brace all this and then I think I'm going to actually tie in that with these after I've cross braced this as you can see it's been welded back into position and we'll get the light let's see. I've just tacked it in place at the moment. But this side this side's square. Let me see my chain idea. This is the chain setup we've got. Lots of measurements, measured twice, cut once, and all that. Added a wee bit of camber in the back wheel as well. And I had to re weld my shock after the top of the shock broke. That snapped in half. And I later found out that the welds on them are tiny, so I'm actually going to redo them all with a decent weld and the hope that it will give it some more strength. As you can see, there's a fair bit of bend in that. And I'm still undecided whether to add another bit in or whether I just brace what's there and make what's there strong and then at a later date 
There's another thing that I had to make up as well after the gearbox blew up. drive shafts in it and do away with this chain system because the chain system is far too unreliable well I think we'll call that part one there's not much else I, guys, I can show you guys <coughs> until we get some more welding done and some fabrication to put the strength back into the frame again Goodbye for now.